Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Artifact. <laughs> can I can I start over? <laughs> Let's, we're gonna try another deck in the Call to Arms featured event because uh, and my card. Did I say card? I meant deck. Did I say deck? I meant deck. Let's go with the Upkeep Killer. Boom. It is a blue black deck that has a couple cards that I have not, or a couple heroes I've not really been able to use yet. And it seems like it's mostly focused on applying, like, damage that is going to affect all the other lanes, like, before the turn. Because it does have, uh, Ogre Magi and the Tinkerer, which both of their cards, they are basically one of those improvements that does damage at the beginning of the turn. Ogre Magi is one damage and it does it forever. Tinkerer does, I think, more damage, but it does it only a certain amount of times. Is that going to be the complete focus of the deck? I'm going to say probably not, but it is pretty, pretty much, uh, oh boy. Yeah, both of those are the ones that are in the, the river, as people are calling it. Also, Trebuchet. Two damage to the towers. Okay. Unsupervised artillery. Deal four piercing damage to the enemy tower may only be used if there are no unblocked enemies. So that seems like that's the one to do, right? For now. We could even play both of them. Hold up, hold up. We can keep Slay for... No lane. Never mind. We can't. We can't play any of our other cards. So we might as well do something. Tower damage is not really anything that um, is going to change the way the game plays out. Immediate problem. Game. Immediate problem. Should we play the trebuchet you too? <laughs> <laughs> this rascal. Okay, so we can't do the the four piecing damage. Does it have to be in that lane? To the enemy tower. Yeah, it looks like it has to be within that lane, which is okay. Deal two damage to each enemy before the action phase. That's a banger. That's like the the Ogre Magi, but even bigger. Is this from Lena? Is there... Wait, there is no Lena. There is no Lena in this game yet. <laughs> I guess it's just a card. She's just in the picture. See, I'm, I'm really excited. Like, I'm really, really looking forward to uh, future, whatever, future updates, future rollouts of cards. Oh, yeah, this sucks. Venomancer is cool. He's a good boy. He summons a Plague Ward every turn. However, or, uh, wait, yeah, one of these. Every turn. However, he is a weak body. That's what you call the, uh, the actual card itself, like the physical boy on the board. He's pretty weak. We have nothing that'll keep him alive, I, I don't think. Ogre Magi, I'm thinking we are, <laughs> we are screwed <laughs> this turn. Somebody's gonna get bopped somewhere, because all of them are standing in front of heroes. I don't think we want to stop that one. Oh, jeez. I guess we want to put it here, because we want to have this be unblocked. And it doesn't matter. Didn't matter. Guess we were a little bit premature with the unsupervised artillery. Unless we can, we can sow Venom. That'll throw down two Plague Wards. That might be a good idea. That'll give us the extra four damage. And if we've got this down, does that show up? What is this about? Get out of here! Get out of here! Shoo! I don't know if that showed up in the video, but there's a little G-force pop up. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna get the. He has the better end of the turn right oh, now, works. so we'll see what happens. So we could so venom. And do four damage to the tower, or we could slay 
Get rid of this pest and keep Necrophos alive. I think that's going to be a better play. Question mark. We could throw down the So Venom in this lane. That might be good, considering it's going to be... Un like, I think it's going to be unprotected for the next turn. Either this one or this one's going to be unprotected. It's a little bit too early for me to tell which lane I'm going to go for. Or which lane lanes. How can I help with hmm. Alright. Now it's dead anyways. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't want Necrophos. He does look like he would probably smell, to be fair. I think this is a good idea, like, just to... We gotta have some semblance of control somewhere. And also, that's right. Every time we play a blue spell, he does one piercing damage to everybody around him. Oh, baby. We might actually be okay-ish in this lane, unsupervised. I'm wrong. Oh, boy. This... Does not look so good. Mr. Stark. This stinks. <laughs> I believe that's the line. Are they not oi, oi, oi. Come, my friends. You must be hungry. Okay, I'm just gonna bite my plague ward. So which lane are we gonna sacrifice? I feel like we might need to think about it. I, I feel like we want to... Ah, that, that lane looks like it's... It's gonna be rough to win back. Oh my god, this lane looks really rough too. What do I do? I, I don't know. I'm gonna go for here because we... I don't know. We're stretched really thin right here. Next turn, we got a big blast of heroes coming in. So we kind of just need to make sure things don't get out of control here. It'll probably be fairly telling about what he's planning based off of where he puts the Abaddon. If he puts it on the right... I mean, he he wants that lane. And I, it, looks, it looks pretty free, but he's probably not really sure where I'm going to put my Tinker. Okay. I can dig that. I, I'm okay with that. It's not not great. But we could almost pull this lane back with conflagration. Well, we should play conf conflagration somewhere. If I play it here, Darkseer will die. Fifteen seconds remaining. Oh man, it's gonna be two two turns before this comes into effect. We could easily Five sweep this one remaining. back into our favor if we throw Three, all of our heroes in. Two, I am so confused about what I want to do. I don't know. I don't really like that play that much. Do I want to put my Traveler's Cloak there, or on Tinker? Ah, the unceasing cleverness. Four health, that's going to put him at seven. It's not going to save him from this. He's almost definitely putting that on there so he can kill the Ogre Magi. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Of which, the Traveler's Cloak is not going to do anything. Saves us from five damage. That's about all I can say that's good about this turn in that board. The AoE, I don't know. I think it might have been a lost cause to try to devote my resources to this lane. Is it too piercing damage? It's not piercing. I mean, the main reason I wanted it was to get rid of these. Oh, boy. I'm feeling a fool for putting in so many improvements in this lane. I think it's a lost cause. I mean, that doesn't mean we can't also get the tower in that lane, is the thing. Oh, that's nice. A 
new toy to play with. Okay. Delightful. Jeez. I won't be leaving the field. We'll hard stop for this. I mean, I don't know. I'm feeling I'm feeling like this this game might be a be one of our rare losses. Laser. I mean, we got the laser next turn. That's something. Disarm. What does disarm even do? I don't think I've ever oops. Had the ability to disarm. Well, let me look. <laughs> Won't let me look. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, that lane's lost. I don't know. We got three heroes. We, it, I mean, we could try to keep this lane for a little bit. I just... Lanes that seem like they have the least amount of difficulty to take back. I think we can get back the middle lane. The left lane, we've invested so many resources that I think, like, may, oh, you might be able to pull it back. There's not even a lot going on on the right lane. I feel it'd be unwise to abandon the middle. Let's throw that there because it will win in a one-on-one -on -one matchup with the Dark Seer if that happens. And then we throw. There's no way we're keeping the lane alive. That doesn't mean we can't also get that tower, though, is what I was saying. All right. 15 seconds remaining. Okay. I think this we made a big mistake in putting all of our resources here. I think we're just going to lose that lane. He might even get it with a full 80, which would be rough. Oh, see now, but we have the March of the Machines. If there are charges on March of the Machines, remove one, deal two damage to the enemy tower and two damage to each enemy. Now I'm regretting not putting my stuff there because I feel like with the Conflagration and March of the Machines. I fear no fire. That's pretty, oh. I'm all over the place here, guys. And we do have Thunder God's Wrath. You know what? It sadly might be easier to take this lane back over. Because Zeus is just going to die over there. Make short work of my enemies. Blank Dagger, that's good on him. Good on her. Good on ya, is what I meant to say. Good on Conroy. Because that's going to... He doesn't need the Drow Ranger there. It'll be interesting to see where he puts it. Because it definitely looks like I want the right lane. We can last a little longer. Alright. Because next time we can do March of the Machines. I don't know. I think... Here's the thing, though. If I would have put these resources in these lanes, that's I just I gotta suck it up and do that, you know. Oh. March of the Machines. What is it gonna do to the right lane? What would it do to the right lane? It would help us out a little. Not a big deal. Two damage, then two damage again would wipe out this. Would wipe it out, and then we could Thunder God. Fifteen seconds remaining. Ah! Help! Or we could do this. Da, de, da, de, da, de, de. Right. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then we'll Thunder God's Wrath next turn. That'll take out Lycan. That'll take out 
Drow. Potentially those two if they somehow like put a little bit of stuff on them to keep them alive. It'll take out Treant. I think we got a lot of good stuff coming our way. I don't know. It looks disgusting right now. See, there we go. Yeah, I, I thought that he would keep him alive. And you know what? That'll keep him alive through Thunder God's Wrath as well. Bad kills Necrophos, though. Middle lane. I don't know. It's looking really grim. So Drow's dead with uh, Thunder God. Lycan will be dead with Thunder God. I will have satisfaction. Yeah, why not? Let's just have no heroes on the field. Who cares? Who cares? All right, so we got to live this turn. We got to live through this turn. And I actually think it will be possible. We, I think we need a blink dagger. That's going to be pretty important to be able to maneuver our characters among lanes. All right. I kind of wanted to hold off. I wanted to thunder god here, but I think that's a dump. Dumb idea. Okay. Well, we can... Ooh! Ooh, filthy! Ooh! Wait a minute. We can Thunder God's Wrath, Blank Dagger, move him over, and Thunder God's Wrath again. Alright, there is the there's the money right there. That's what we've been waiting for. I think that we could pull this out of our rump. I think we could. I think we could, because next turn is... Terrifying for him. And this stuff, you know what, putting these things here? It puts a little bit of pressure in this lane, so he can't just win it for the 80. Because that conflagration is a really big deal. Choose two enemies, they battle each other. Is that going to be better than AoE Brain Blast? I don't think so. There's actually, like, no point to double Thunder Gods, though. 15 seconds remaining. Wait, oh, oh, shoot! I didn't know it was my turn. I didn't know it was my turn. I zoomed out. I, I was looking right here. I'm already thinking ahead. Whoops. Yeah, I don't know. Is there even a... It's only a matter of time before okay, they no. fall. We're not really looking for that lane anyways, I don't think. I keep saying. He tries to justify to himself. What are you doing with all this mana? What's happening? What are you gonna do, man? What a lovely day. I share. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Here comes the big boom. I killed you. No, I did. No, I did. Boom. Dead. Boom, not dead. Boom, dead. Boom, dead. That's beautiful. He won't be able to play anything to help his other lanes from over there. I'm sorry, this got away from me. Okay, we're gonna blink dagger our ogre magi away. If we can. can. So friendly fire, it has to be in the lane. So I don't think we can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blink dagger my ogre magi away to keep them alive, though. Or oh, shit. It might not be. Is, is it a... Like, it seems like a waste. It seems like a waste to use this on only... This seer, right? It seems like a waste. And I think it... I think it's, like, factually a waste. 
possibilities are endless. I want to do that, though. Abaddon's got nine health. It's going to be a while before we can get better value <laughs> out of Thunder God's Wrath. I think maybe we push for the all-in right now. It, it's going to be gross, and the value is going to be so minimal. It's going to seem so minimal, but I think it could be the thing to do to wipe him out. Oh, so dumb. Oh, I hate it. Oh, it's gross. Don't even... Don't at me. Don't at me. I hear you. I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with it, but I am at the same time. So, yeah, this... We got damage on the tower. We have four heroes incoming. He only has one hero incoming. We got a lot... A lot of stuff out of the way. Big sword... All right, this is our this is our swing. This is our swing. We need to make this work. I want some blue and some black in each lane. Which one's better for which? I think we want to go for that. So there's the most enemies in this lane, so we can maybe get some some stuff out of the necrophos. Oh, he's all the way over there by himself, though. Alas. Okay, that's that's pretty helpful. <laughs> that's a, you know what? That's doing a lot. Over the course of this run, it maybe is keeping this lane alive. He can't do anything in this lane. That's so good. That's so good. All right, friendly fire. Let's keep him alive. Let's keep him alive and delay some some time here. Two piercing damage to a target. We can put down that. I, I don't think we really want to this is friendly the Lord of fire. I don't think we want to... I don't know. I don't really want to claymore him. Friendly fire won't do that much. Except clear a little bit of the path. It won't do much that Keen Folk turret won't. I hope you And if we kill this, then we can do the two piercing damage. You're on. Okay, and that's a little annoying. Pretty much just doing that to keep this alive so we can chump block with it next turn. Compel. I mean, I don't think there's anything I really want to change. I don't want to clay. I kind of want to use Claymore as a big kill. Shoot. Heartstopper Aura seems like a waste, too. Uh, I know I'm being so slow. I'm sorry. But you know what? Let's just do it. I don't want to waste the mana. Having four just sitting here. There's nothing over here blocking us. He's given up the right lane, I think. 
like by not putting anything there. I feel like there's a lot more in this lane than I really want. Okay, so we can't do that to tower. Thankfully, we will have. Oh, it's but it's the third lane. No real reason to claim more, I don't think. At least not yet. Alright. So now here's his terrifying move that will probably keep him alive. He could go for a, like a crazy all-in on the left lane. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see him throw Drow on the left lane and then blank dagger her out after using it as like a spell f spell field. But I don't know. You know, I, I'm I do have friendly fire, which is going to be really good for the heroes. That surprises me a little. No, you know what? It doesn't surprise me that much. Because he can surge. He's that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna surge the uh rejuvenator. Okay. Holy moly! Alright, well we're gonna potion of knowledge over here. Just to have our thing ready. I mean I definitely wish. Thunder God's Wrath, I just realized we drew that. That's heck. Urgh. Interesting. And probably smart. Because that makes it so... If oh, okay. Fair enough. Super fair enough. But it does also give us an easy way to kill any one hero we want. That was smart what he did. I didn't understand it until it was until it made a lot of sense. Who do we want then? Thunder God's wrath is not going to do enough for us. Got a claymore. Oi oi oi, there's so much happening here. Choose a unit in another lane. Move a random ally black hero from this lane to that lane. 15 seconds remaining. Oh, God. All right. Save my Zeus. Probably should have picked Lycan, though. You never were upon second thought. The longer I'm alive, the longer I can help the rest of you. I don't think we want to mess with that right now. Two piercing damage. Where do we want to do two piercing damage? I don't know, but I want to do this to keep Necrophos alive, I think. I think that's what we want to do. We have Steam Cannon we can throw in this lane to kill somebody over here. I don't know, though. This is this is definitely going to be really close. And a Thunder Eye Pack! Good God! We claim more. This will come in handy. And we probably need to do this, too, right? I'll Hell, we're not even going to protect him. Not even going to work. Do it. I we have two piercing offering. damage. Oh, I hate this! I hate this! Gotta do something. You son of a gun. Perfect in function and design. That puts Drow in a place where we could do two damage and kill the next turn. This is looking real gross now. Oh! Boof! That sucks. Yeah, we have too many resources over here right now.
If only Thunder God's Wrath hit, um... Oh, man. I think we gotta do this. Four damage, we can kill something. I think we have to kill this big boy. Trebuchet, whatever. Like, it's too damage. Choose a unit in another lane. Move a random... So we can do two damage. Oi, 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 oi. This is so messy. And then we... I think we have to blink dagger over. We just shuffle our resources. We do what we can. That puts us in a really, like, not that powerful spot here. Cleave can be really important right now, and a heal can be too. But Cleave in the late game can do a lot. Thunder God's Wrath, is it even gonna do anything? Not really. It's a bit of a bummer. The good news is without a unless he has another large creature, which is totally possible in a green deck. Ooh. Which is totally possible in a green deck, I don't know. We might live this turn. We might live this turn. It depends. He might just go for the all in on this lane. If he had oh if he has a big boy. If he has a big boy, we're done right now. He might know- Oh, he does not have a big boy. And he's not moving anybody- Oh, he can't. It's on cooldown. We're probably dead next turn over there, though. What chance did you have against me? Okay, so what do we want here? Three damage to a unit and disarm it. That's that's a free action. God dang it. There's a lot to think about here. This will keep Ogre Magi alive. Oh, I love the look on their faces. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Okay, so that, that I thought that that meant that it means they do zero damage, and it does. We okay, are good. At war. I must be ready. All right. That I seems like a no-brainer. Like, who else would we put it on? And then I think we might want to swap these two, because that'll kill the... Alpha. That will no longer kill the Alpha. What do we want to do two piercing damage to? Like, what is two piercing damage going to do at this point? You know what? If we would have put... I don't know. God, this is... This is a puzzle. There's probably a better answer than what I'm doing. And I'm well aware. Thunder God's Wrath does not do what I need it to do. 15 seconds remaining. And this sucks. Let's just... Let's do two piercing damage to that guy. He's can, He can heal. Cutting plan, it's just not going to cut it at this point. Like, even if we rotate these, he could switch them back, and that wouldn't even really matter. He's just got a lot of answers. He's got a lot of answers. Okay, well that... Maybe that changes something. Sure heck does. Ba-bow. Sure Keeps us alive. 
Bzz, bzz. So we can throw down March of the Machines here in our lane so we can try to pull it back again next turn. God, this is so messy. I feel as if I am in blue. I cooked up something special just for you. Because then that, plus we could Thunder God's Wrath just this this turn right here on in the other lane. He's changing this one to Necrophos. What did he do? It's unarmed. Why did he? Oh, why did he? Why did he waste? I guess it, it doesn't really matter. But I'm just, it's a little confusing. Okay. We have four piercing damage over here. I forgot about that. That's a big deal. That's a, that's a lichen. Out of the way. Or should we march to the machines? Because that happens before. Then we can play a Zeus in this lane. Oh my god. This is all banking on the fact that he can't have... Okay, well, we're going to kill those with the AoE. Oh boy, oh boy. We can't march to the machines this turn. We can't march to the machines. We don't have a black hero in here. This lane's still not dead. <laughs> okay. It's a doozy. It's it's a doozy. Dealing damage, it's I think it's gonna be handy. He's gonna throw him over there, isn't he? He's gonna throw him over there. And he can. And he can get away with it. And we're gonna lose. Duh! Don't care! Or is he gonna go in the middle? Oh shoot. I feel like he's gonna go in the left lane. Go for the all-in kill before it. that would be the safe thing to do. I don't think I would have any answer. Oi, 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 oi. Should I move it back? I can't move it back. I think he's gonna win. I feel like I mean Okay, he's going one and one. Interesting. Depending on what we draw here, maybe we could change something. But it looks like this... Oh! You thought you could stand against this me? is good. Conflagration... Will change... Not much. We do have March of the Machines over there. Can't, if we if we played a black hero in here, then we could do a lot more. Two piercing damage. Oh, that's a big deal. That is a big deal. We can keen folk musket, and you know what? We're gonna kill this tower. That's something. Oh wait, we already have we have the claymore on there. Of course we can't do that. Well, here's the thing. And it doesn't even matter. It's not going to happen. But if we live If we live in the middle lane here, we win. That didn't do nearly as much as it needed to. That, that we lose. We needed to do. 
Here's what we needed to win. We needed to be able to block this guy. If we could have blocked him, we would have won. Do better. Uh. I'll I mean, let's just keep on doing this genius. just in case I'm missing something. But I think that we're done, though, to the extreme. Because there's just no way we can block that damage. Conflagration probably wouldn't have done anything. Either. I mean, we just... That was a waste. No I mean, we would do it to... This. I just want to do my due diligence here, just in case I'm missing something obvious. I will show no mercy. But I don't think we are, unfortunately. Yeah, we should have definitely targeted the Treant Protector with that anyways. It was a misstep. But we might as well finish our misstep there. Alright, we're done. Big done. Big, big done. Here's the thing. You cannot argue that it wasn't close. Look at the health on all three of those. Our resources were just a little bit too spread out. That's all. Maybe he'll play something that accidentally hurts him. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm banking on at this point. All right, we lose. We put up a really, really tough fight there, though. I mean, it was we were literally one turn away from winning. So there's that. Can't argue that that was not, uh, you know, a close one. Oh, well. I'm sure I missed, like, there was a one thing somewhere that I missed that would have done lethal had I done it in a different order or something like that. Oh, well. It was a hard-fought one. Let's take a look at the opponent's deck here. All green. He went with the, uh, the green machine. But alas, that's it. I'm going to say that this is obviously the worst deck of the bunch because I lost with it. My favorite so far, I think the green machine was um was really really strong i feel like that one was fun I, I do like the upkeep killer can't remember what else we even played with i don't think we did that one i don't know if we did that one but anyway that's gonna do it for today please please let me know if you want more artifact on the channel obviously if you made it to this point you probably do but I, at this point, I need some some vocal some vocal <laughs> affirmation that people want to, to stick around. Uh, otherwise, I will move on to other things. But thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next.